Hey, Susan, um, could you do me a favor and help me get these gifts inside the house? Well, no, I can't do all that by myself. It's a lot of gifts, okay? Huh, it's that time of the year again. But the most stressful and exhausting thing in the world is carrying those gifts inside the house and wrapping them. And we all know how exhausting that can be. Gosh, you're no help, Susan. You know what? I'll do it myself. Forget it. Goodness, that's exhausting. What? What is it, Mark? What is it? Don't worry about it, okay? Go play your games or whatever. So, I go to put the gifts inside the closet, right? And guess who's standing there? Mark. Yep, asking about the gifts. Now, that's not a really hard thing to do. Wait until Christmas to look at the gifts, okay? Thanks a lot, Susan. It was really tiring getting those gifts in the house, and you wouldn't even help me. Okay, you know what? You know what? I overreacted. Calm down, Frank. Calm down. Okay, look, I don't want to argue. It's getting close to Christmas. Why don't we all forget about this, okay? Come on, are you almost ready, Susan? Okay, all right, I'm just asking because I want to get there sooner. Now, this one's going to be a hell of a challenge, getting Mark away from those gifts. Mark, listen. Mark, I'm heading out for a little bit. Now, let me tell you something right now. You better listen to me. That closet in there is full of gifts, so I do not want you looking at it until Christmas morning. You got it? And I mean it. If I catch you doing that, we're going to have a problem, okay? All right, I'll be right back. Now, mind you, I have a terrible habit of forgetting things. I forget everything in the world. Now, I go to grab my wallet, which I forgot. Me and my wife are going out for a little bit, and guess what I find? The utility closet, the door was open, and the light was on, and we all know who did it. Yep. Guess right. Would you just calm down, Susan? I forgot my damn wallet. It's not my fault I forget everything. Damn. No, he did not. I told him specifically not to look in this closet, and he did not listen to me. Wow. What a joke. Why is this off the... Oh, for Christ's sakes. Mark! This is where I lost it. Mark! Mark! Take the headphones off! Thank you. We need to have a serious talk, mister. Now here's Mark playing video games, acting like nothing happened. What the hell did I tell you about those gifts, Mark? I told you not to look at those until morning, but you disobeyed me. Oh, really, Mark? Would you mind telling me why the closet door was open and the light was on then? Tell me the truth, mister. <sighs> this is a bunch of BS, Mark. You know, I thought I could trust you, Mark. I thought I could trust you not to look at those gifts until morning. You had one job, Mark, and you completely screwed it up. And now, now that I think of it, I don't know if I should give you those gifts or not since you looked at them. What, Mark? What? You know what? I'll think about it. In the meantime, you are grounded until Christmas morning. You got it, bud? No more games until then. He has officially lost my trust. I asked him to do one thing, and he did not listen to me. Now, I get it. Mark is a kid. He's just curious. But I just wanted to get him away from the gifts and not know about it until morning. But at the same time, though, I feel bad for doing it, though. But I figured it was the right thing to do. Now, here comes Christmas morning. Oh, Mark. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, 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 Mark. Merry Christmas, buddy. Now, I've thinked it over, and I kind of felt bad that I took away the gifts, and I decided to put them under the tree. Look, Mark, I'm sorry I yelled at you, okay? But you cannot be looking at those gifts until Christmas morning. That's what I've been telling you a couple times, Mark, okay? All right, come out here and open your gifts, okay? They're under the tree. And just at a future reference, Mark, please wait until you can open your gifts, especially when your birthday is coming up. Now, come on, get up. I want you to open your gifts, okay? Open that one, Mark. Open that one. Your mom did really good on it. Well, what do you think? Well, what's the matter, Mark? Look, listen, Mark, that's all we could afford, okay? We don't have that kind of money to buy you a PS5, okay? Mark, are you kidding me? Your mom worked really hard for those gifts, and you know what? Just open your other gifts, okay? Don't even worry about it. What an ungrateful kid he is. He knows that money does not grow on trees. Like what you just saw, he asked for an iPhone 14 and a PS5. Like, we don't have that kind of money. Mark, we gotta get going. <sighs> It is hot under this hat. All right, you ready, Mark? Oh, I like that shirt, Mark. I love it. Your aunt and uncle is going to love that. All right, come on, Mark. Let's go. Oh, gosh. Aside from Mark not listening to me about the gifts and me feeling bad for him, it was a good Christmas overall. Now, I just want to say to everyone, to everyone around the world, I just want to say Merry Christmas, and I hope your Christmas goes well, 
and spend time with your family a little bit. And to all the parents out there, of course, don't let your kids end up like Mark. And they do realize that Santa is watching their behavior, right? Okay, all right. Well, other than that, I hope you guys have a great Christmas, spend time with your family a little bit, and I hope your day goes well, okay? All right, take care, guys. What is it, Mark? Oh, oh my goodness. What do you want, Mark?